chaplains across this nation uh, to take just these few moments to pause in a solemn assembly. It's been the choice of the committee, the task force, to give honor to God and to take a moment to pause and to realize, as we all know, that when tragedy strikes, almost 100% of the time, the first name that's cried is the name of God. And so I think it's a tribute to the task force and all emergency services and first responders that this is recognized at the preliminary of this occasion. I just wanted to read um, a scripture from the prophet Isaiah, probably very familiar to everyone in this room. He gives power to those who are faint and to those who have no might, he will increase strength. Even youth will faint and be weary and young men will utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. The key in there, I think, you have chosen today in the Psalm Assembly are these words. They that wait upon the Lord. Waiting upon the Lord, I think, is a mark of leadership. And I think at this very special occasion, I commend it to all of us that before we respond to anything, our hearts are postured in waiting upon the Lord. In just a few days, we all remember the 11th anniversary of 9-11. I was on the phone that morning with Secret Service agents who had the day off from protecting the president, and then the tragedy occurred. And behind me is a precious piece of steel made in this mill. The steel was part of that attack, the tragedy, and it will stand here in long remembrance of this nation its losses, and also how this nation remembered and turned back to God. And so today, may we pray together as those who wait upon the Lord, and may it be the first word in our responses in this county. Let's pray together. Father, you know the hearts of every one of us in this room. We come from so many persuasions of faith, but we come recognizing that you are God, one of our nation's astronauts just two days ago sat with me and reminded me when he was 20,000 miles from the earth, looking back at the earth suspended in space, it was only then that he recognized with all his wisdom that there is a God and he began to come to give you worship and glory. Here in this sacred place today, we are standing here before the next bell tolls, before the next 9-11. We are standing here in recognition that we first waited upon you. I pray, Father, that you will bless the unveiling of the steel. And Father, as we pray to you today, those here from different faiths, we thank you that in this place today, we can remember you love us. May we honor you, may we wait upon you, and Father, I know that I pray in Jesus' name, but others pray today, Father, in different ways, but all of us together say we need you this hour. We commit this place to your glory, your help, and refuge. Amen. 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 It's my privilege to ask J.D. to come as he led, led the task force. And today, on behalf of all of us and those who will answer the call, he will unveil the steel at this time. 